In this Jackie Robinson Day matchup, it's going to be the Toronto Blue Jays as they play the Boston Red Sox at Fenway Park. 2K Sports presents Major League Baseball. Two powerhouse teams in the American League East meet up in this matchup. It's the Jays and the Red Sox from Fenway. And I'm Gary Thorne with John Crack and Steve Phillips. Welcome, Major League Baseball, 2K Sports. Home support, yeah, there's a lot of it here. 38,000 fans on hand for our ballgame. Let's take a look at Boston starter. Steve, he's got a focus here. Toronto hitters, what's he thinking about? Well, the Southpaw on the mound today, and this one is going to have to be on top of his game. But when he's on, he's usually pretty darn good. But this is a quality lineup he's facing, which means he's going to have to really execute his pitches to get out of jams. Take a moment here to look at that lineup for the Blue Jays. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, center fielder that hits in the middle of the lineup that produces home runs and RBIs. Vernon Wells is the guy you want to keep an eye on here today. He has that power bat. Anytime you make a mistake, especially middle end, he'll take you out of the ballpark, and he'll win games for you with his glove and with his bat. Alomar has a turn in the box. A win in their last contest for the Jays. And they're happy to salvage a series. They dropped the first two games, ended up one and three against the Mariners in Seattle. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. That one's caught. Take a look at the Red Sox defensively. And here's what the Red Sox schedule looks like. Wrapping up on Monday, the series with Toronto. They get the road for what should be a competitive series. The Athletics hosting that one, and that's going to be a two-game trip. After that, they meet with Sean Figgins in a road series against the Angels. Boy, there's some great competition in that set of games. And quite a bit of time away from home for, for them over these next several games. Fernandez batting now. One out, base is empty. Ball First one. pitch way out of the zone, ball one. Now the 1-0 pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. Two down. And the lineups with the most home runs around the league last year, courtesy of State Farm. Blue Jays, number one. The Red Sox in second. In third, the Yankees. Fourth, the White Sox. And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. Well, most home run hitters can be pitched to. So these pitchers, though, they have to be very careful because they're facing two of the top home run hitting teams in the league last season. If you can pitch well and execute your pitches, you have a chance to have a successful game. If you make mistakes, though, runs get put on the board quickly with both these teams. Ball. And Wells watches that one inside for a ball. In his career, 269 off Boston. Here's the 1 0. And a swing and a miss by Wells. Count now is even. Well, I tell you what, for a two seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. Ball. Good looking fastball. Called the ball, though, 2 and 1. There's a swing and a smash. That'll do it as they put that one away. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. And the Red Sox getting ready to start this one off. And let's glance at Toronto's starter. And Steve, as he gets into this Boston lineup, what are we going to see? Well, sending a good lefty to the mound in this ballgame here, but this is a great lineup, a lineup that can really beat up even some of the best pitchers in the game. So he's going to have to be on top of his game in order to do it and rely upon that movement on his pitches. And he lays it down. He'll try to beat it out. Number 17. And his throw is in time. First out of the inning. Well, not a bad thought trying to get something started, getting on base to start some sort of a rally, put some pressure on the defense, but didn't work out that way. 
This is how the Red Sox are lining up. So who are you looking at, John? Well, Big Poppy. Anytime David Ortiz steps to the plate, he can do something very special. What I like about him over the years is he now has become a guy who's not afraid to hit the ball to left field when he has two strikes to try to cut down on strikeouts and get his average up. I love what he does, though, in the batter's box. He's a clutch performer, and if the game's on the line, he's the guy you want up for your team. Wells with the pitch. And Garcia Parra watches that one. It's outside. Last outing for the Red Sox was a W. That series was split going into game three, so they pulled ahead going two and one against the Rays. And Wells gets it in too close. That's taken for a ball. That last game became much closer than they probably wanted it to be. Well, they did, and they snuffed out a big rally late in that game to keep it in the win column. Here it comes, 2-0. Oh. Fastball just misses. He runs it to 3-0. Oh. Well, you fall behind 3-0, and, oh, and this is when the pitcher has to be careful. He just can't throw a cookie in there and expect the hitter to take it. Now the 3-0 -oh offering. Fastball, that's over for a strike, 3-1. Well, he gets the strike, and it was just a get-me-over pitch right there. He better not throw that same pitch on 3-1, though. That misses ball four. That is a guy you do not want to put on base. He went with a fastball and three ball count, which is what you want to do most often. He just couldn't throw a strike. Now we'll take a quick look at the Blue Jays and their defensive alignment. Infield, outfield factors in this one, John? Well, Vernon Wells' defense is very underrated. People don't understand that because of the offensive numbers he puts up, they overlook his defense. But he's just as valuable on that side of the ball as he is on the offensive side. Takes a lot of hits away from players. Still possesses, at his age, a pretty good throwing arm, too. Wells with the pitch. Ball. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. Oh. And they pitch out. Uh, nobody's moving. Oh. Inside with the fastball, 3-0. Well, a good pitch right there. He tried to get one in on his hands, but he just missed, though, in off the plate. Great pitch. Great one. This oh, one misses, so he works out a five-pitch walk. A good discipline by the hitter to lay off the high pitch and take his base. And fans, look out for next Tuesday. It's going to be Jared Weaver and the Los Angeles Angels. They find themselves at the Rangers ballpark in Arlington to take on Texas. Action gets started 8 Eastern. One out with runners at first and second. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it. The pitch. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. This one to Stewart. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. And that keeps the runners at first and second. Well, he keeps the runners right where they are, so now he's just an out away from working his way out of danger and keeping this game tied. It's going to be Rice now. Well, a couple guys on right now, Gary, with speed at second base. We'll see if they try to put pressure on him and try to start both runners. If they throw him out at third, they'll still have a man in scoring position. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. Still scoreless in Boston. Big bats ready to make an appearance. 
forecast tonight to be cold. Uh, definitely it's turned out that way. Right. Fastball in there. 0-1. Oh that fastball just froze him on the inside corner. Now we're going to see where he goes. Look for something soft possibly away. Here's the pitch. Strike and he looks at one in there for a strike. Nothing in two. Well, the pitcher going for that hole and most hitters swing up and in. He found that strike zone with a four-seam fastball and he couldn't get to it. Here's the delivery. And this is bounced foul to the left side. You're Big out. swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. You've got to have better plate discipline than that. With two strikes, you need to be defensive and try to make contact. But when you get a fastball, you need to read whether it's a strike or not. Eastern Division standing starting to take shape here in April. You're in our State Farm standings board. In first place, it's the Yankees. In the second spot, it's the Orioles. Red Sox in third. Fourth place, the Blue Jays. And it's the Rays in the last slot. Base is empty, one out. Ball. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out. That two-seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. Ball. Low for a ball, and it's 2-0. and oh. oh, what a drive. He smashed it. That's the second out of the inning. I've got a moment to take a look back to last year's Toronto Blue Jays. First in home runs. First in slugging percentage. And when you look at their offense, doubles were the name of the game. Ranked second in doubles in the league. That ability to end up on second base, putting themselves in scoring position as batters. And Delgado's batting. Two outs, space is empty. Fouled away. Foul! Here it comes. Oh High for a ball, one on one. Missed with the fastball outside, two and one. Ball Too three. high that time, and it's three and one. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count three and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. Here's the pitch. 3-1, a fastball that's buying. 3-2. and two. Now the 3-2 pitch. On the ground to third. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. Still, nobody on the board at Fenway. It's going to be Ortiz. Career average, 276 against the Jays. This one's popped foul towards the left side. Strike two. Ortiz will have to be careful now. Oh. 
And Ortiz misses. That's going to be strike three. Well, you can hang laundry on that one. 94 miles per hour. Pretty good velocity, but that's pretty straight. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the end bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. Fisk at the plate. One out, nobody on. Wells with the pitch. Fastball just misses. One and oh. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. One oh on the way. He lets the one oh pitch go by. One and one. One one on the way. Two and Missed one. with the fastball outside. Two and one. The two one pitch. Smash towards the hole. And Delgado pulls it in. Now the State Farm leaderboard, uh, look at those teams who had the highest average last year. The Rangers number one, the Royals second, the Twins third, Tigers fourth, and it's the Red Sox number five. When you watch this team today, one of the top hitting teams in all of baseball last year, you can't get frustrated as a pitcher pitching against them because they are going to get base hits, but you're going to have to bear down, and if you're going to beat them, you better hope you're getting a lot of double play balls because there's always going to be guys on base. Out of the zone, Wells with the ball. Well, if he wants to strike out, he's going to the curveball. It's one of those ones he could break down in the dirt. He gets so many swings on it, but he's got to trust his catcher. The 1-0 pitch. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. We don't see many pitchers, Steve, what we're talking about here, where their best pitch is that big breaking curveball. Well, I tell you, that's why they teach young kids in the minor leagues. They teach all of them how to throw a curveball because it is a put-away pitch. Swung on, line to right field. Wide throw, can't get him at first base. A chance here to check out the Boston Red Sox and how they ranked in the American League last year. First in doubles, second in home runs, and a very productive offense as well. Second in the league in runs scored. That's an offense that scores in a lot of different ways. Not just with power, not just with speed, but that ability to manufacture runs and score in many ways. And Door settles in. Runner on first, two away. Wells with the pitch. Swung on and a grounder to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Still scoreless in Boston. And if you just joined our broadcast, great time to be on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Krupp. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. A good action on that pitch running away, but it's a ball you have to get down to the zone. Don't throw it up. The 1-0 now. Lined up the middle, and Garcia Parra picks it up. In time for the up. Shortstop makes a nice play right here, Gary. Good feet at that position. Gets the easy out at first. And Stewart settles in. One out, nobody on. The pitch. Hit on the ground. Door. Two away. Their number two spot at the plate. Base is empty with two outs. Right. 
That catches the outer part of the plate for a strike. He deals. He's at 0-2. He watched that fastball that was in there. Hit sharply towards the hole. And that's the third out. That'll do it. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. The shutout continuing here at Fenway. We've got the top of the order coming up. Speaker settles in. He bounced out his last time. And here's the first one. And Wells has him all in one with that called strike. Well, the pitcher gets away with one right here. Fastball right down the heart of the plate. Batter just let it go by. Ball! Pitch in the dirt, blocked by the catcher. Strike Taking down. right down the middle for a strike, one and two. Well, that's right down the chute. The hitter must have been looking for something else. Otherwise, you have to swing at that. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Curveball in there for a call. Strike three. Well, the hitter just gave up on this pitch out of the pitcher's hand. This is a curveball right down the middle. He just gave up. team set the tone in offense last year let's take a look brought to you by State Farm number one the Yankees the Red Sox second the Rays third fourth spot Rangers and we've got the twins who are number five well this is a pitcher's dream when you have an offense like this on your side you know you're gonna get a ton of runs you don't have to be so precise you can let runs score because you know your offense is gonna pick you up the good thing about this team is they like to score runs they like to score them early in the game that gives your team a lot of confidence And Wells can't get him to swing at that one. It's low for a ball. Here's the pitch. Smash towards the middle. Fernandez. And so Garcia Parra retired. And Williams in the box. Drew a walk as last time. Two outs, space is empty. First pitch, curveball. Swung on and missed. Going one. Well, when you're when you're hitting, you have to make up your mind very quickly if you're going to swing or not. He waited too long on that breaking ball, and he was tardy on it. And Wells can't get him to swing at that one. It's low for a ball. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Swing and a miss on that curve. One ball, two strikes. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. Three up, three down this half inning. Still scoreless in Boston. Alomar at the plate. He'll start things off here, inning number four.
Now the first pitch. Great first ball. pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. Look here, they haven't scored or gotten a hit, and we're in the fourth inning right now. And they've got to really reconsider their approach at the plate as we move through the lineup the second time around. Ball one. That one's in the dirt. Nice stop. Line towards second. One away. This ball scorched right at the second baseman, but he showed quick reflexes to be able to make the play. Fernandez up now. Last time up, flew out. Base is empty with one away. Here's the delivery. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Well, let's take a look, see if the umpire got it right. Now, let's see this again. Does he get him? He sure did. Umpire did get it right. Good hustle down the line, though. Nice defensive play. It's going to be Wells. Uh, we look here. It's just 212. That's the number last season against the Red Sox. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch on the way. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. The pitch. And it's 0-2. Wells is going to move up a little on the plate. Well, that two-seam fastball down and away, it's awfully tough to center that ball and make solid contact. That time, he couldn't even make any contact. One fastball is a waste pitch that time, one and two. But a two-seam fastball down and away, trying to get the hitter to roll his hands over to get the ground ball. He just laid off, though. This one's grounded foul, wide of first. The one-two on its way. Good eye by Vernon Wells staying away from that one, and we're even. And Vernon Wells right through on that cut, strike three. You could not ask for a better four innings. So far, everything's working. A dozen up and a dozen down. You can't start any better than this. Toronto still looking for the offense. And it rolls around to the top again. 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch to him. Fastball swung out and missed. 0 and 1. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit. Oh, my. How did he get out of the way of that? Those are scary. Throw on to first in time, one away. And a chance now to check out the schedule for Toronto. They wrap up this Boston series on Monday. And then they'll have to contend with Derek Jeter as they play host to the Yankees. A team that will definitely give them a competitive series. That'll get underway on Thursday night. Then they stay home for the next series, the Tampa Bay Rays. So quite a few home games they'll be looking to capitalize. One out, nobody on. The first pitch. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. The catch is made, and that's out number two. Well, Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he set down. And it's David Ortiz in the box now. He hit uh, 281 last season against the Jays.
Base is empty and two down. And Ortiz ready for the first pitch. Ball. And Wells can't get him to swing at that one. It's low for a ball. That fastball right there just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Here's the 1-0. And Ortiz with a swing and a miss for a strike. Count is even up. He just rears back and throws this one with a little something extra on it. No chance of putting it in play. Watches that fastball go by, and now he's at one and two. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. The pitch, and he pops it up. Foul territory behind third. Had wow. a look at that one, but can't come up with it. Swing and a liner to right center. And that will put Ortiz on first. Now this pitch just cuts right over the heart of the plate. The hitter handled it perfectly. Mm. That's one of those where you've uh, you've given in by making a bad pitch and, and really made it much easier for the hitter. Yeah, he's better than that. Bear down. Fisk at the plate. Lined out in his last at bat. Two outs and a man on first. And the first pitch. And Wells has him all in one with that called strike. Watches that one for a called strike. Nothing in two. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Oh, here's Ortiz stealing. Oh, and his throw, he is out. Great throw. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Still scoreless in Boston. For those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Strike oh, and he one. checks his swing. They'll call that one a strike. The appeal goes to first. Just a little too much on the swing. The strike is called. Here's the delivery. Swung on line to right center field. And that'll be Toronto's first hit of the game. Stops at second. Two bagger. Now we'll look at the teams who led the league at extra base hits last year. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Blue Jays. The Red Sox in second. Third, the Yankees. The Twins fourth. And at number five on the list, the Rays. Well, look for the ball to be rattled around in the, in the gaps in this game. The balls are going to be hitting the wall. Extra base hits galore with these two teams. Two of the best at it last year in the league. And I tell you what, these guys love to hit the ball in the gaps and get in scoring position with one swing of the bat. First pitch, swing and lined up the middle. That one gets through for a base hit. He's around third, heading for the plate. And he scores. Well, he saw a pitch that he really liked, and he did not miss it. A really nice job with nobody out, keeping this inning going and picking up that RBI. Great, great piece of hitting. And Delgado's batting. Now, Steve, you get that feeling right now this offense is not going to be stopped. They've got themselves a lead late. I'll tell you what, Gary, we're seeing a solid, consistent, professional approach from these hitters. And it's paying off because they now have the lead.
Well, you've got the lead right now with speed on first base. You have to get him going. I think, Gary, keep the pressure on. Keep trying to tack on some runs. And that last pitch got him dancing, settling back in now. Well, he gets out of the way right there. If he hadn't been, he'd be headed to first base. Sometimes you have to take one for the team. The 1-0 pitch. Great on the outside corner, 1-1. One and one. Consistency matters. Don't give up at bats, and he didn't. Oh, that's right. Consistency is the difference between the good teams and the bad teams. Let's see if the consistency continues. Pitch out. Nothing doing, though. Here's the pitch. Fastball on the black. He doesn't get the call, though, and it's 3-1. and one. Well, anytime you have a count 3-1 and one in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. Hit up the middle. Toronto, here's a position to get something done. What more do you need to see? Now you have to question his confidence, giving up three straight hits. Not much going right out there at this point. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. First pitch, here it comes, up the middle. And another hit. They're really gunning right now. Now here comes a runner to the plate. And he's in there. Okay, the defense needs to stop right now. They need to put up an out here. This offense just has been relentless this inning. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. First pitch on the way. Back up the middle. It's gobbled up. Over to second for one. And the deuce a double play. Up again now, the number five spot. 0 for 1 thus far. Man on third, two outs. Here's the pitch. Swing and a shot to third. Throws on to first, side is retired. Yes, the batting lineup has awakened as they're able to get some runs across. Toronto leads it two to nothing. This at the plate. And here's the first one. And Wells has him all in one with that called strike. Well, outstanding pitching effort so far here. I mean, he's left three runners on base in this game. I mean, but he's just shutting down this lineup. And when he needs to make a pitch, he seems to always find a way to do it. Checks his swing that time, but it's still a strike on one. On the way. Curveball got him one away. Well, you like to see your pitcher strike guys out. You like to see him keep the pitch count down. He did both. Big smile in the dugout over there. That's a domination in that effort by the pitcher. Now our State Farm leaderboard looking at the teams leading the league in slugging percentage from last year. Number one, the Blue Jays. The Red Sox in second. In third, the Yankees. Fourth, the Twins. And at number five on the list, the White Sox. Well, not a lot of singles in this one, I don't think, today, Gary. I mean, these two teams love to slug it out. They love to hit doubles, triples, and especially the home run ball. So if you're a pitcher, you better be very careful because when you make a mistake, these two teams will make you pay. 
Here's Wells with a 1-0 pitch. Swing and a line drive. When you play at third base, you have to expect the ball to get on you quickly. But I don't think anybody expects it to get on you that quickly. Base is empty with two outs. And the first pitch. Oh, uh, and Wells, no luck with that pitch upstairs. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Right, in there at the letters, evening the count at one and one. The location and velocity are critical in throwing the fastball. He runs his good fastball up and away right here, and it's a take pitch. Pitch on the way. Now swing and a shot toward second. Throws the first side is retired. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. Still unable to score. Boston still a zero. The top of the order is due up next. Alomar is batting. He'll get things started off as we go to the sixth. And the first pitch. Oh, Just what? missed with the fastball. What a no. Now the 1 0 pitch. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Over to first for out number one. Fernandez is the batter now. 0 for 2 thus far. One out, nobody on. Here's the first pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Door. And he throws the first in time, out number two. But some kind of play right there to be able to get to the ball quickly, transfer it to your throwing hand, and rifle it over to first base to get the runner. Nice play. So Vernon Wells, he'll try and keep it going. Team leader in both average and ribbies. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Fastball, too low, 1-0. Well, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good. Here's the 1-0. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. Now the 2-0 pitch. He watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike to a one. Well, he's got a good four-seam fastball with good riding action to it, but he finds the heart of the plate here. Unfortunately for the hitter, he didn't swing. Here's the pitch. Drilled towards third. And that's the third out. That'll do it. No scoring here, ending this half inning. And the Red Sox coming up next. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. Speaker at the plate. Took a called third strike in his last time up. Here's the first pitch. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. Boy, good pitching, good defense. They're getting it done today and obviously limiting this offense, keeping them off the board. Only three guys left on base the entire game. He delivers. Cuts on that big breaker, but misses, and it's 0-2. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. 1-2. and two. The 
This one's grounded near third. Foul. One two pitch coming. You're Fastball out. in there. Called third strike. One out. And that will keep this game close in the late goings. Well, you like to see a guy get on base and make things happen. And right there, the pitcher's just better. And now we're going to see Garcia Parra. 0 for 1 thus far. One out, bases him. And the first pitch. A shot up the middle, Fernandez. Two down. And Williams in the box. What an explosive bat he's got. Two outs, space is empty. Wells with the pitch. Can't get him to chase it. That's low, ball one. One oh on the way. Hit hard to second. Alomar throws on to first in time to retire the side. An outstanding effort so far in this one. Six shutout innings, making pitches when he needs to. Defense helping him behind him. An outstanding team effort so far. Red Sox can't get the offense going. And for those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Cut on, fouled off to the right. Oh, one fastball and a called strike. Well, the pitcher has him right where he wants him on the defensive. He could try to throw it out of the zone and get him to chase. What Tries two. to ring him up with a fastball away, but it's one and two. On a two seam fastball down on the way, trying to get the hitter to roll his hands over to get the ground ball. He just laid off, though. The one-two pitch. You're out. Strike three called on the fastball. One away. A good two-strike fastball in on his hands. He couldn't pull the trigger. In the batter's box, it's Carter. Singled home a run in his last at bat. Base is empty, one out. And here's the first one. Lays off that one, catches the inside, calls strike one. He must have been looking for an off speed pitch in that situation because the fastball looked like it surprised him. He's at 0-2. He watched that fastball that was in there. Here it comes. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Out number two. Oh, well, Gary, he's pitching well right now. And that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. And Delgado's batting. He singled in his last at bat. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the first pitch. It's now 0 and 1. Watch that fastball go by. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down and away.
The pitch. Ball. Missed with a fastball outside, and it's even at one. Well, hitters know those two seam fastballs down on the way turn into ground ball out, so they lay off of it, but with two strikes, it's a pitch you have to swing at. Good looking fastball. Called the ball, though, two and one. Fastball sails high, three and one. Well, this is your dream when you're in the on deck circle before you go into the batter's box. If you can get the count to three and one and in your favor, you know you have the upper hand. Fastball is in there, now 3-2. He's painting the black away with that fastball, Gary, hitting the spots and with great velocity. And here's the 3-2. Fastball swung out and missed, and the side's retired. No runs, no hits, no one left on. It's seventh inning stretch time in Boston. And the right fielder batting again. Grounded out last time. Wells with the pitch. Curveball just misses. One and oh. Well, he's really only held him to two hits so far today, Gary. So he's been on top of his game out there. He's made it look easy. And, you know, it could possibly be a day the bullpen doesn't have to get used and can get some rest. There's contact. He drove it well. Able to make the grab on that one. One out. Well, he's pitching with a lot of confidence out there right now and been very efficient with his stuff. A hard guy to beat when he's locked in, and he's clearly locked in today. Well, you can't blame the manager here. Playing the percentages, bringing in the right-handed hitter against his lefty pitcher. Let's see if it pays off. Well, the ultimate gamer in Kevin Euclid's injury cut short a season. You know that had to be killing him to watch his team play at the end of the year when he could do nothing to help. Euclid gets the bat on it. Two down here in the inning. Oh, Gary, for every pitcher, it's a little bit different. You know, how long they can go into a game. But right now, he still looks pretty strong right now. Two outs in the seven. Oh, I think he's got a chance to shut them down the rest of the way. It's nice to have somebody coming off the bench that can run a little bit. He can come in and pinch run, or he can get a rally started and potentially score a big run in a situation. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Oh, he's absolutely mowing them down here today, Gary. And they haven't been able to muster any sort of offensive attack against him here at all. Toronto not letting this lead go. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Now, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing. So interesting move. Here it comes. Strike and two. that's on the black for a called strike. Nothing in two. Outstanding mechanics right there. He gets all of his body into the pitch. Great velocity on it. A strike away. Here's the pitch. Fastball is a waste pitch that time. One and two. On a two-seam fastball down on the way, trying to get the hitter to roll his hands over to get the ground ball. He just laid off, though. Takes a cut. That's a little pop foul to the left. Foul! Two and, and he two. takes the ball inside. Two and two. Taps foul. this one foul to the right. Well, even though the count's even, you still have to take that defensive mode up at the plate because anytime you have two strikes, you don't want to give him a cheap out just by striking out Ball foolishly. Three. But he's keeping this at bat alive on that low pitch to foul it off. The 3-2 pitch. No pitcher wants to start an inning this way. This is a free pass. Well, managers go crazy and pull their hair out when they see the leadoff walk. 
Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. Maybe a little fatigue on the pitcher's part. They're not used to throwing that many pitches in one at bat, but the hitter wins it and gets that base on balls. Runner on first. The first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. Well, that's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. One away. And he'll have to hold at first. And the number seven batter in the box. Grounded out his last time through. One out man on first. First pitch on the way. Lays off that one up and away for ball one. He tries to get this ball to come back over the plate with that two seamer. But it's dangerous throwing it high. You want to throw it down and away, not up and away. The 1-0 pitch. Swing and a shot down the left field line. It rolls all the way to the wall. Well, this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs, and that's what he looks for, and that's what he got right there. Put a good swing on it. He knew what to do with it for that double. Oh, boy, Garrett, tell you what, you need to bear down and make some pitches right here. You don't want to be down any more than the two you're already behind in this ballgame. He's got to find a way out of this with these runners on. Oh, you're right. It's not looking too good for them right now, Gary. They're already down a couple runs. They have to stop them there and let the offense have a chance to come back. Runners on second and third, one down. And the decision's been made. Sign goes oh, out walking. Oh. And it's not just respect for this or not. It's a bit of strategy, and they're going to go with a reasonable gamble. Play in the odds. Fernandez up now. And here's a chance, maybe, to put this thing out of reach. Well, this at bat right here could pretty much decide this ball game. Late in the game, key at bat. Here's the first one. Hot shot towards the hole. One. And that's two. Another play. So no runs on one hit and nobody left off. Toronto two. Boston nothing. It'll be the bottom third of the order coming to the plate. This at the plate. He's going to lead off the home half of the eighth. And the first pitch. And Wells has him all in one with that called strike. Deep into the ball game, only two hits for this offense, and clearly they've been overmatched, Gary, in this one. And you know they're going to have to try something, try to lay down a bunt, try to see if you can't wait them out, force them to throw more pitches, or get them out of the ball game. Swing and a miss at that fastball. No balls, two strikes. The pitcher's got him right where he wants him now. Up ahead, 0-2. He could waste a pitch if he wants to. Lined up the middle. That is in. It's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. A perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. First, no out. Wells with the pitch. Strike Swings one. a little late that time. Strike one. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Strike 
strike. And he takes a called strike on the outer half. Nothing in two. Now, Gary, I think he decided that was a pitch he needed to take. As soon as it came out of his hand, just can't handle that fastball up and away. Tries to ring him up with a fastball away, but it's one and two. You're out. Struck him out. And now we've got one down here in this eighth inning of a shutout ball game. Now he's just putting on a show out there right now, Gary. we got a second now to see the four-seam fastball in K-Camp. And Door settles in. Grounded out his last time up. Runner at first with one down. First pitch. Ball. Wells, too far outside. That's a ball. goes for second right one and he's in there at second base with two strikes the hitter has to protect the whole plate it's very difficult to do especially when they throw that heater up and in He delivers a line drive towards short. And a good throw gets him two down. A look at the teams from last year who stepped up big with runners in scoring position, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the Twins. The White Sox second. In third, the Rangers. Fourth, the Red Sox. Number five, the Royals rounded out. Well, nothing demoralizes a team more than being able to hit in the clutch, and this team is one of the best at it in baseball with runners in scoring position. You think you get a guy out, the next guy beats you. This team just sends one after the other with guys who love hitting in clutch situations. Here's the pitch. Waves and misses at the curve, just like that, 0-2. Well, they're a strike away right now from getting out of this jam and holding on to the lead. Fastball is a waste pitch that time, one and two. Well, the starting pitcher right now is over 80 pitches, and this is a time when the manager and the pitching coach have to keep an eye and see if his velocity is dropping. If it is, you might want to think about getting him out. One, two pitch coming. Strike three, and Steve, we don't get a lot of chances to see a pitching performance like this. Now you kind of like his chances. He's been unflappable the entire game. Leading it off is Vernon Wells. The pitch, ground ball. And now look back to last season in the year that Vernon Wells had. Fourth in doubles, seventh in triples, and the power numbers were there as he was ranked in the top ten in home runs. And it's always nice to have a bat like that in your lineup. Far field at the plate. We'll try it again here, just one for three thus far. Wells is at first. First pitch on the way. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Here's the pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider. One and one. So he went for the backdoor slider right there, but he laid off the pitch. Good eye. Oh. 
There's a bullet towards third. It's one. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs on to it. Well, they call it the hot corner for a reason as this ball is scorched. It almost took his hand off. You've got to keep the opponent close when you're behind. You've got speed on first base. They better keep them close. There's a swing and a liner. Gets one. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. And Delgado's batting. Struck out swinging his last time up. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch, here it comes. Fastball in there, 0-1. When you can spot your four-seam fastball to the outside corner, the hitter has to have balance at the plate and not pull off the ball. Strike Called strike on a fastball, and it's 0-2. Well, they set up down and away, they throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. And the Red Sox coming up next. And now we're going to see Garcia Parra. He's ready to give his best at bat right here. First position, home half of the ninth. It's going to be Calvin Escobar on the mound. He's been chosen to take over out oh. there. First pitch fastball misses badly that time, 1-0. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Escobar with the 1-0 delivery. 1-0 pitch, change up in there, 1-1. Well, the change up right there hit a good spot. You want to keep that down in the zone, so even if they swing at it, it stays in the ballpark. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. And so Garcia Parra retired. One away. Well, I followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play, and they were in exactly the right position to be able to make the catch. Good coaching. Now State Farm gives us a look at last year's leaderboard, the teams with the most saves. Number one, the Rays. Second, the Rangers. The Blue Jays third. Red Sox fourth. Number five, the Royals rounded out. Well, you see these strong closers here, and it bodes so much confidence for the starting pitching to know that they can turn the ball over to the bullpen and that the closer will get the job done. Ball. Fastball misses away, 1-0. and Line shot into center field. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. Well, he swung the bat well in the last game, getting two hits, and he seems to be continuing it in this one. As an athlete, you live for moments like this, Gary. Hasn't had much success yet in this game. He's hoping to get something this time. With good speed now at first base, Gary, they're going to have to at least keep an eye on him. Even though they've got the lead, they've got to watch him because they might try to steal to get back into this game. 1-0 count. He took that last one, and it was out of the zone. Pauses, and now the 1-0. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. Change up is waved at and missed that time. Two and one. Well, he clearly fooled him right there. He had him thinking fastball, and he pulled the string on it. Got him to swing right through it. Ah, Williams trying to steal. Strike two. And he is safe at second.
fastball in there, struck him out, out number two. Well, I'll tell you what, with this kind of fastball, you can make a living up in the zone. He runs it up and away. The hitter was thinking something else. Oh, this is a biggie right here. A great matchup right now, Gary. Now, all of a sudden, this team's got the tying run, Steve, at the plate. And with first base open, we're going to have to see how the pitcher wants to handle this. Two outs and a runner on second. Shot towards the hole. And you just saw it, folks. That's going to be the last play of this game. Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done as the opposing pitching just shut them down. Wow. And it's time to present the Player of the Game Award. Well, every time a pitcher takes the mound, he'd love to be able to finish the game, Gary. But, you know, he can't complain about this one. He pitched absolutely outstanding. Turned it over to the bullpen. But the most important thing is they got the win. And this is something he can build on for the future. It was a shutout. They mustered only a couple of runs, but they didn't need any more. Well, it was all about pitching in this one. And the bats just weren't there today as the pitchers dominated the game. So for Steve Phillips and John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon.